Okay, so in this project, I want to take a look at how Spring Boot handles enums in, uh, in REST controllers. So in this case, uh, I want to create a new project. We will call it enums. Java Maven. Uh, I'm with uh, Java 17 and jar. And in this case, I only want the Spring Web um, dependency. So let's create the project. I'm using IntelliJ. Shouldn't have any issues with any other ID. Okay, so um, let's take a look at something. Uh, first of all, I want to create a um, controller and let's call it developer controller. Um, it is a REST controller and the request mapping is under devs. Um, of course, we want a get mapping that will return all the available developers. Uh, so it will be a public list of developers. Let's call it all. And in this case, let's create a record because we will, uh, there's no need to use a class in this case. Um, it is a record and let's say that a developer will have a name and a programming language. So the programming language will be an enum. with enum programming language and for the time being we will have java and let's say php as the two enumerations the, the record is fine the developer controller is fine and in this case uh, just for now we will return a list off and this is uh, a new addition um, from JDK 11, I think. The list of and let's say that we will create a new developer, a new developer, and here I will put my name Vasilis. And for programming language, I will say programming language Java. And let's use, let's create another developer, former colleague of mine, Alina and programming language PHP. Uh, perfect. So, um, let's, let's run the project. Uh, configuration perfect the project is starting under port 8080 and here let's take a look uh, if it returns the two developers and it does and the default, um, the default serialization with Jackson is to return the name of the enum. Perfect. Let's uh, add a couple of things to the um, to the programming language because the enum in this case is just something that we use in the code. So let's say that 
we'll use a um, name private string name so the name of the programming language and let's say that we have um, a framework now we want a constructor here using these um, using these values we definitely need um, getters in this case because these will actually be final they are set using the constructor and we will set them here so uh, java, the name will be java of course and the framework let's say Spring Boot PHP name PHP and for the framework let's say Laravel very nice um, perfect so let's run again let's run the project again and see if anything changes now that we have the uh, the two properties of the enum and it doesn't change that's because it still uses the default um, uh, the enum name to display it what we can do is um, a couple of things actually and this comes down to how we want the enumeration to be uh, to be displayed first of all we can use uh, the json property and using json property we can um, say what the how the name will be displayed so in this case let's just say name and here JSON property uh, framework and let's see if anything changes still no in this case but we can definitely use the JSON format and here we can use the shape and from here if we say object it will display all the properties of the um, of the enum let's run again and see if anything changes and here it does because it treats the whole enumeration as a as an object and um, takes all the other fields and displays them in the serialized JSON object so we have name and framework like so name and framework um, and we can for example um, using JSON property we, we can change the um, name of these fields and let's say name here and let's change this to let's change this to programming language since a record is a class it will use the um, json properties to change the names of the serialized fields and here we should see that the language will change to programming language perfect so we see how they are serialized into JSON and let's take a look at how we can use enums when posting or when creating um, let's say a new developer so in programming language 
let's add another one here and let's say node the name will be node and for the framework let's say nest js in the controller we'll have to make some changes in order in order to post something so here let's create um private list of developers which will be used as a database of sorts um, developers and it's a new array, array list in post construct uh, in post construct we'll add these new developers so Let's take this one and let's say developers dot add this one and developers dot add this one. And the reason I'm doing this is if I remember correctly, the list of returns an unmodifiable list. So we can't add any more um, elements to the list. So here we'll just return developers and now we want a post mapping a post mapping uh, it's the public public void add let's say this will be a request uh, request body and this will be a developer perfect and here we'll say developers dot add developer right so it should work let's restart the project and let's prepare um, the new request let's duplicate this one let's call it uh, create developer and it's a post and in the body we want to use json and now in this case since we've changed the um, since we've changed the names here we'll have to use this one so let's um let's add name let's say apostolis and for programming language let's say node and see if it works 200 and in all developers we should see the third programming language um, and if I remember correctly let's say here George let's try this one uh, we can use instead of the name of the enum we can use the ordinal and let's say two Here is George, and it takes the ordinal of um, how we've added them into the um, into the enumeration. Um, let's add another person. Let's say Michael. And in programming language. Uh, we will use something that we don't have for example let's say C++ plus plus. if we use an enumeration that we don't have then an error is produced simply because it cannot be uh, deserialized into um, 
into an enumeration value that we have uh, added here. So it's very easy to use uh, enums both in serializing and in deserializing uh, with uh, Springwood and using these um, the JSON format we can um, actually only display the values that we want and how we want to how we want to display them. So this is very this is very easy using Spring Boot.